CAT grade control for hydraulic excavators provides the operator with an in-cab reference for distance to grade and controls to set depth and slopes for excavation. This video will demonstrate basic operation, setting the reference elevation, and changing depth and slope features. The monitor provides real-time information for bucket profile, status of benchmark, direction and distance to target grade, and linkage elevation monitor status. The light bars display grade and laser reference information. A keypad is used to enter grade information. CAD grade control uses a pitch and roll sensor, two rotary position sensors, and a position sensing cylinder to calculate the location of the bucket leading edge. All calculations are based on the size of the machine components. Different size stick or bucket information for individual machines can be entered. The bucket dimension information is stored with a bucket name and can hold 10 different size buckets. The bucket profile view helps to position the bucket parallel to the target grade. The benchmark icon changes to display benchmark set from a known reference point, a known reference benchmark that is also referenced to a laser, loss of laser referenced benchmark, and a reference that uses the laser transmitter height. The direction and distance to grade is dynamic as the cutting edge is raised or lowered and the units can be changed from meters to feet. The linkage elevation monitors if limits have been set for a safe range of motion. These limits need to be reset if the tracks change elevation. The bucket cross-section view is displayed if the cross-slope of the bucket is parallel with the cross-slope of the target grade. The bucket slope icon shows the focus point on the bucket where the depth to grade is measured. Left, right, or center. This focus can be changed from the CAT grade control screen on the display with the bucket focus menu. It also displays if the bucket slope is different than the machine cross slope. The left light bar indicates above grade, on grade, or below grade. The scale can be changed within the on grade tolerance screen. The right light bar aids in locating a laser signal when using the laser reference. There is an audible alarm that can be programmed for alerts of above grade, on grade, and below grade, and when there is a laser signal. The number pad can be used as a shortcut for entering data such as bucket names and dimensions. To disable the number pad, press the Disable button. Keypad icons are selected with the corresponding hard keys below. The menu button selects the main menu. The soft key cycle changes the keypad to the other available key choices. The touch point key sets the touch point for transferring reference points. The accept laser key is used to acknowledge laser captures. The benchmark key sets a benchmark from a known reference point. The set ceiling and floor keys are used for the linkage elevation monitor. Arrow keys are used to navigate menu items and to enter depth and slope values. Some functions can also be controlled from the optional joysticks. The trigger on the left joystick enables cat grade control and is used in combination with each of the following. The upper left button accepts a laser strike. It also is used to set a touch point if no laser is present. Push it again to accept the touch point after the machine is moved. To adjust target depth, roll the left thumb switch. The upper right button sets a benchmark. Holding it for an extended period will clear the benchmark. To set slope, roll the right thumb switch. For full instructions, please read the Operations and Maintenance Manual.